All right, so first stage here is the jungle. Welcome to the Welcome jungle. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> you have to, man. <laughs> Especially with the, the time period yeah. and everything. That's perfect. <laughs> um, yes. What a way to roll out the game. This is this is the like stage I remember if you ask me about Contra 1. I feel like I've seen this game like everywhere even before playing it. Mm. Yeah, pretty iconic. I'm um, really cool. Like, obviously, so you're in like a a jungle. Um, but there's like it's like over the water. And one thing you'll learn very quickly is that if you fall into the water, you don't die, you just start swimming. Which is really neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's going to happen anyway, because within like five steps, you the bridge explodes and you're going to fall down the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they were thinking like 80s set piece with that where like the hero's running and the bridge explodes and he falls and it's like the, the enemies think that he's dead and he pulls up off the shore and he's like ready to fall. Well, I guess they're doing the Rambo thing, right? Where he's like camouflaged hiding in the, the water. Yeah, that's awesome. See, that's I, I admire I that stuff. I think it's stuff. cool, too, because we neglected it. But I mean, it is a co-op game. One player could be running on the top part and the other could be running the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, I admire them striving for something greater, like cinematically with this, even though obviously it's primitive. But I, I admire them going for it here. And that, that's that's neat. That that gets a lot of bonus points for me is just that like they didn't have to do that. They could have just made like a bridge and you just run across it and that's that's it. And I would have been fine with it. It wouldn't have made any difference. But the fact that they did this exploding bridge thing and you fall and that's really neat. I, I major props to Konami. And it's a good looking stage too. I mean, it's not like the most impressive thing. I mean, we're not talking like Donkey Kong Country jungle japes, ironically, another jungle, but you know, where it's like more of like an ambient background. No, you just get a starry sky, you know, and I mean it's NES we're talking, and it looks good. Yeah. Serviceable. I would have played this as a it's kid. It's not Mario, you know? Because like Mario's just bright blue, you know. Yeah. Brick. Like <laughs> No, we're, we're, you know, we got water elements. And how many games let you, like, run in water? You know, like, water usually means death or it means, like, annoying gameplay. It's really not annoying in this game. Mm -hmm. No, this is great. Uh, you'll definitely learn about the different mechanics of shooting diagonally, crouching. Not crouch, I guess prone, not crouching. Uh, there's not a whole lot there, but... You can see that certain enemies you crowd, you, you you go prone for. Certain enemies you jump. Certain enemies you just shoot. Uh, simple. Yeah, this is pretty level. advanced, even compared to the genre, right? Like you think Mega Man. Oh, it's it is literally just left right. You can't like you could jump and shoot, but you can't aim up. You can't aim down. You can't aim diagonal. Uh, although it is a free run shooter, just like this one. This is a free run shoot. You can't just stop. You can just stop and shoot, but you can't stop and aim. Yeah. Uh, and so that's pretty interesting because you do need to do like multiple styles of aiming. And then even kind of the, the layers between like what part of the level you're on, whether it's like the top half, bottom half or somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can dro drop down from the ledges at any point. And uh, you need to match that because there's like turrets in all different areas. Sometimes guys will pop out of the bushes. You can even crouch down and then shoot like very military style. So it's pretty advanced for its time. Oh yeah, very impressive. You can. And it's interesting to think about because like now we're all jaded and stuff, but back then this was all new stuff. Like this is all them experimenting and trying stuff. So cool to see those ideas. Like how many of ide ideas they packed into just this contra, like the first one. All right, maybe it's not even the first one. I'm sure there's millions of others that people will tell us, but you know it's early. Let's agree on that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You close off on this kind of like in front of the base, but like, I guess, boss section it's called Jungle Fortress Entrance. And there's like a dude on the top layer. There's like two turrets underneath. And they I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a little mini cannonball fires. And um, then there's also the door, which needs to be shot. You could just shoot the door and then it opens and you automatically progress. Uh, but what, what was your experience with this Jungle Fortress Entrance? 
Okay. Low key, I, I come for. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm young. I mean, I'm an older guy than you, and I come from this era a little bit more. Shooting panels on like a machine or something is heaven to me. I love the idea of like shooting, like like a, a panel that like glows red when you hit it or whatever, and it like like you blow it up and then you win. That stuff is like crack to me. <laughs> I <laughs> adore it, and I think it was phenomenal to see that here. And I I was impressed too that there's it's kind of a smart boss design because it gives you op options on how to tackle it. Like you can either choose to clear out the obstacles or you can go straight for the target. And there's there's pros and cons to both, and and uh, I admire that. Yeah, this idea of destructible elements, like you could make the the boss fight easier for yourself by taking out some of those elements, or you could just go straight for it, I guess Rambo style, and uh, destroy the whole base at once. And that's really satisfying too. So it just depends on your skill level. Are you able to do that while avoiding some of the the firepower, which, you know, and that includes, you have to be able to do these kind of like somersaults. The the jumping in this game is really funny. <laughs> like, it's not just like traditional jumping. Yeah. The guy just, you know, is, is, is flipping in midair while also firing his machine gun. Oh, um, yeah. So I, I, I kind of enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely over the top. It's deceptive, too, because you don't really jump as high as you think you are. Um, there's a lot of ledges on, in this game where I would think if you're jumping to the fullest extent, you would have made it up there, but you don't. It's just not quite high enough. Um, but it, but to the to their to their credit, it's not a platforming game. It's a, it's a shooting game, so, so I don't really hold it against it. But if this were a Mario game, I think the jumping would be a little bit more precise, or I would hope. But sure. all right, right, stage two. Stage two. Let's go. This one's called Base One. <laughs> I adore these segments. I actually like these more than the side scrolling segments. Uh, these are so much fun once you get the hang of it. Uh, I love this, and I'm curious what this plays like with co op because it seems like it'd be kind of a mess. But but one player, it's it's pretty perfect. I I admired this. What did you think of this? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little spoiled because I. I'll have a story time at the end. I I would meant to do it earlier, but I played the arcade version a bit, and these segments have timers, active timers that run while you're running through it. So oh. you have to do it within a certain time frame. So it really makes it like the mission feel a little more realized. Okay. Uh, and like high stakes, uh, and those ones I think are better than the ones in the NES version. But I still think it's a really creative contrast, if you will. <laughs> to the oh, traditional should, side scroller gameplay we should have done a contra pun counter i feel like that'd be good i feel like it's too <laughs> late now we've done i don't know how many more we're gonna get 10 anyway. 12 anyways yeah uh but it is it is uh very different from what you expect and this one i think you the wall explodes and you just run straight through but in the arcade version uh, you run down to the hallway and then you have to like run through whatever side of the wall explodes. So it has like this 3D element, which I think is what they're going for here. Oh, that's really neat. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And once again, destructible things on a wall is just heaven to me. I love that. Uh, and then I love again, just like the bosses, there's optional ways on tackling this. You can just shoot straight for what if it's available, it's sometimes it's not available right away. But you can shoot the target right away, or you can shoot the projectile shooters, the people, the guns, the turrets. Um, there's just a lot of different ways to handle it. Um, I, I just adore this. This is really fun. If the, if the entire game was this, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> yeah, maybe not enough of this. I do think, though, uh, it, maybe it's just the ability of the console at the time. Again, 37-year-old game. Some of the like 3D like dodging elements I think are missing out. Like you're missing out on that. Like mm -hmm. you know the bullets are coming at you, and regardless if you jump or you duck, you can't dodge them that way. You would still get hit by them. Uh, so you do have to get down to fire at like certain targets, but it it just doesn't work the way that I I kind of hoped it would. And I think I I had seen in the arcade version it, it functions a little more closely. Okay. Uh, to 
the the physics. That's a good call. Out. I do remember that that there were some that like it shot high and some low, but it didn't seem to make a difference. You just have to dodge horizontally, uh, which is annoying. It's a missed opportunity, I think. A lot of cool elements, though. I'll give it credit for being an NES game. I mean, like the barrels, shooting the barrels before they come at you. The dudes that are like running around, they're do they're doing the contra jump, the little <laughs> flip. You know, so yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, and then the first boss, or the, the the boss of the Terminal One, or the boss is called Terminal One. Um, but instead of shooting sideways, you're shooting up. I thought there were some missed opportunities here with combining vertical shooting with horizontal shooting, at least in this boss specifically. Uh, they kind of had it in the next one, but. I still don't think they really got it, um, but what what is here is really fun. Again, I I, I like the more hor uh, vertical approach to this. Yeah, I you have two turrets left, right, and then the main uh, brain computer brain just appears, and uh, I don't know. It's a simple boss fight, but at the same time, like. You also have like four like I don't even shields I guess that are blocking your your fire. It is satisfying just blowing shit up. So like I think that's kind of the genius of this game is just so many things to shoot at. Yeah. Um just very limited by its you know wh whatever the scope was for this boss. Yeah. Agreed. I don't like, you know, it basically feels like if you lose your power up, you're firing a pea shooter and the ability to hit the turrets with the pea shooter is, is low because the trajectory is like directly with their firepower, which is going, it's going straight down and scattered. So if you're right underneath it, you're in the line of fire, but that's where you need to be basically in order to hit them. Yeah. It's like, it's like a hit and run game at that point where it's like you shoot and then you just have to jump away and just do it over and over mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Well, and, and the, like we played obviously with the Konami code, so dying to us was less of a thing. But I guess in the or if you're playing it straight, like the 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 way it's intended, you shouldn't be dying as much. So you should be keeping your power ups. I guess if you were a more dedicated player, <laughs> mm -hmm. your power ups would last. Also, longer. I played with burst fire. Did you do that? No, or maybe. The anniversary collection has burst fire or single shot. You can switch between the two. Okay, well, I, I played an N the NES version. Yeah, the NES, even on the anniversary collection, has you can switch to burst fire. Hmm. I played the NES version, not on the, the anniversary. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I played it on your NES. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> on my NES. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah 